king, I am not a god, I am... I'm JK. <laughs> For almost 40 minutes, you have been standing in front of a large vault where important documents are kept. Only you and your boss have access to it. Your boss asks you to find the contract and other documents from 5 years ago for some reasons. And because you've been standing for quite a while while wearing heels, your legs start to feel a bit blocky. You look around, and when you saw Jungkook busy at his desk and not looking at you, you remove your heels to feel comfortable and continue working. Here, you can have this. You are startled when you heard your boss voice behind you. You turned around to face him and saw Jungkook holding a slippers. You can use this, so you're not barefoot, he added. I am fine, Mr. Jun. Thank you. However, he didn't agree. He bent down and lifted your foot and forced you to wear the slippers. Don't worry, I never worn that before, so I'm sure it's still clean. Thank you, Mr. Jun. As you saw him chuckling while looking at your feet. The size of your feet is so small. Cute. After that, he returned to his desk. You work with Jungkook as a secretary for more than six years. He is a strict and perfectionist when it comes to work. In your first month at work, he often scolded you, but after a few months, you gradually memorize your job. Basically, Jungkook is the nicest person. All his employees say that and likes him. He just becomes strict when it comes to work because he doesn't like repeating the work and wasting his time. Being a secretary for six years, you can say, yes, indeed, he's the nicest person, but he's also a workaholic. You can say that because even on weekends, he works at his house. And of course, being a secretary, you need to help him. Every weekend, you go to his house but you notice that what he does is not important. Usually, he is the one who works and you're just sitting and sleeping in his house. This started happening two years ago. However, if you tell him that you already have a plans, he won't force you to work at weekend. Jungkook has a special space in your heart. Because he makes you feel that you're equal even though your differences are far, especially in life status. You don't consider him as your boss only. For you, he is also your mentor, friend, and sometimes your dream boy. Even though you know for yourself that it's possible to have him. After a few minutes, you found and gathered all the documents that Jungkook needed. Mr. Jun, this is the documents that you are looking for, he said and placed on his desk. Wait, Miss Wayan, don't leave, he replied and checked the other documents. You are just standing in front of him while waiting to finish on what he was doing. Can you give this paper to Mr. Park? Sure, Mr. Jun. He took the papers and left Jungkook's office to go to the fifth floor where Mr. Park office is. After you deliver the documents, you go back right away to the 10th floor where your boss office is until you see your office mate talking about something. It's break time so it's okay for them to do that. Yeah, Wayan, come here! I have something to say! Your friend Faye said, which is what you did. You approach them since you were not in hurry. What? We're going to the beach this weekend. Do you want to come with us? Where? 
my family has a private beach resort. I love to, so I can relax since I've been stressed lately with a new project that Mr. June is going to release. Then, what are you waiting for? So, are you in? I'm not sure. What if Mr. Jun needs me this weekend? Then ask him if you can skip duty this weekend. Okay, I will tell you if he allows me. You entered your boss office and placed the documents given by Mr. Park on his desk. Mr. Jun, Mr. Park sent this to you. Okay, thank you. You can go back to your desk now. However, you didn't leave. You just stood while stamping your feet. He raised his head and looked at you. Spill it, YN. I know if you have something in your mind. But you hesitated to speak because you are afraid of rejection. YN, tell me what do you want to say? He added. Mr. June, can I not go to your house this weekend? My friends have plans to go to the beach. I want to go with them. Friends or boyfriend? No, Mr. June. I have no boyfriends. There are boys, but they are all just my friends, including me. Sure. Enjoy. As I heard you chuckle in happiness. Because finally, after a few months, you came out of town and relax. You happily went out of Jungkook's office and told Faye that you would come with him. After that, you went back to your desk to continue your work. While Jungkook just secretly a smile cause he knows he made you happy. At 5 o'clock in the afternoon, Jungkook told you to go home. So you still have time to prepare for your out of town since he knows you will be leaving early in the morning. Jungkook was walking to leave the office too when he accidentally heard Lyndon and Marco's conversation. What's that? Marco asked while pointing at the necklace Lyndon was holding. Is it pretty? What do you think? I hope I am like this. That's for YN? I am planning to confess to YN as the sun sets tomorrow. I am sure YN would like that. Good luck, bro. They had no idea that Jungkook was very angry while secretly listening to them. The truth is Jungkook has liked you for a long time. The reason why he even sent you to his house on weekend was just to be with you. His job is just an alibi. Also, the reason why he didn't confess is because he is afraid that your treatment for him might be changed if ever you don't have a feelings for him. Jungkook adores you so much. That's why he is afraid of losing you. That's why when he heard that Lyndon was going to propose to you, he felt intense jealousy. Seven in the evening, you were excitedly packing your clothes to use for your two days vacation until your phone rang. You answered immediately after knowing it was Jungkook. Yes, Mr. Jun. Miss YN, I changed my mind. We have important work tomorrow, so you should be here at exactly seven in the morning. You puzzled because you were confused by what he said. Mr. Jun, I'm going to the beach tomorrow with my friends, remember? I know, but what do you want to choose? Beach or your work? If you don't come here at 7 a.m. sharp tomorrow, you're fired. After that, he hung up the call. You're spacing out for a second. After sinking into your brain what is happening, you start rolling the floor, kicking the air, and yelling while pulling your hair in annoyance. What's wrong with him? You took your phone to call Jungkook but his phone was off. He knew you would call him. So he chose to turn off his phone instead. Does he have a monthly period? 
Why does he seem to have mood swing? What should I do? You dial his number again, but still his phone is off. In your frustration, you took the bottle of wine that they gave you. You open it and drank it straight. You don't even remember that your capacity were only two shots. If you exceed the limit, you are definitely got drunk. Nine at night. Jungkook was in his room, playing something on his phone, when suddenly the security alarm at the gate sounded inside the house. He immediately got up and checked the CCTV monitor, and he was surprised to see a female thief climbing his gate. He was even more surprised when he recognized who it was, the drunk YN. I need to talk to him. He can't do this to me. This is my first vacation after a few months. Then this will happen. That bad. I'm really going to beat you up. Just wait. Ah, why are you wearing heels? You sat on the top of the gate and took your heels and threw them inside the yard of Jingkook's house. The moment Jungkook saw you climbing the gate, he hurriedly gets out of the house until he saw a flying object and hit his head. He figured out that it was your heels. Finally, after 12 years, you successfully enters Jungkook's yard and walk like a zombie towards the door. Jungkook realized that you are drunk because you just passed on him as if he was invincible Aside from your zombie walk. Why, Em? Why did you drink? You look back and just answer. Shh! Don't make a noise! I'm just going to kill my boss. And continue walking. He just laughing or following you because this was his first time so you got drunk. You stand in front of the door and enter the passcode. Until you notice that it's opened. Look at this jerk. He left this door opened. I thought Mr. Jungo was smart, but he is brainless. You said and entered the door as you banged the door to close it. Without you knowing, Jungo was behind and his nose hit the door. I sh this girl. The stairs appeared on you after you get inside. I'm sure my handsome boss is sleeping this time. Attack! Just wait a little bit, Mr. Jun. I'm coming. You start to walk upstairs. However, you suddenly felt dizzy and your world starts spinning around. Ah, quick! Help! You said and start crowing. So you don't feel the earthquake that you are talking about. You reach Jungkook room. You slowly open it and enter without remembering if you close the door or not. You stand in front of the bed and start to rap. Mr. John, you want to die? How dare you to ruin my vacation? I want to see the beach. To wear two pieces and swim with the sharks. I hate you, Mr. June. Do you think I'm happy to see you every weekend? No. My heart is breathing like a broom broom. Hush! I am being nice to you. Mr. June, I'm here to protest. Let me go to the beach, please. But no one's answered you. Mr. June, are you sleeping? No, I'm still awake. You turn behind and saw a guy standing behind you while closing his arms. Wait, you look familiar. <gasps> Mr. June? Why are you there? You should be here in your bed! Are you mad?
mad at me, that's why you got drunk. Me? I'm drunk? No, I'm not drunk. Your eyes landed on his nose that was bleeding. Mr. Jun, who did that to you? I will kill him. Jungkook just scratched his head and took some tissues and wiped his nose that was bleeding from hitting the door earlier. I will tell you tomorrow if you are sober, okay? Mr. Jun, I hate you. I'm here to say that and protest. Why? Because I didn't let you go to the beach? Exactly. Let's make a deal. If you allow me to go to the beach, I will admit that I love you. But if not, I won't tell you that I love you. His eyes widened when he hurt you. He was about to answer, but you suddenly lay on his bed. Mr. Jun, I sleep first. We'll take tomorrow, understand? As you close your eyes. He giggles while having butterflies in his stomach. Okay, let's talk tomorrow. Good night, he said and sat on the bed. At the same time, cupping your small face. Sorry if I lied. Actually, I just use work as my alibi every weekend. But the truth is, I just want to be with you. Because I'm in love with you. I love you, YM. You woke up in a familiar room. Of course, you always get in here because Jungkook usually makes you sleep on his room every time you feel he's sleeping during weekend. Why am I here? You were just looking at the ceiling while spacing out. Later on, slowly, you remember what you were doing last night. You scream, but there was no voice coming from your mouth since you don't want Jungkook to know that you were awake. You get up and look for your heels, but you can't find them. I show whatever. You slowly go downstairs and slowly walk to the door to run away because you don't know how to face Jungkook. But before you get to the door, Junko held your hand and carries you as they go to you to the kitchen. Mr. Jun, I can walk by my own. He made you sit and give you the hangover soup. Eat this. Next time, if you climb the gate, I will report you to the police. What if you fall? By the way, I took your suitcase last night from your house. Oh, why? You made the deal with me last night. You said, if I let you go to the beach, you will tell me something about your feelings. You cover your face with your hand and say, which one? That I love you? He removed your hand from your face to have an eye contact with you and said, I guess you remember everything. So it means... You also heard me saying, I love you. You just bite your lips and answer him with, mm. So we're starting today, we're officially dating, right? Right, Mr. Jun. Wait, do you know my nose bleed last night? You quickly ate the soup and said, you made this, Mr. Jun? Wow, so delicious! Jungkook just laughed after you changed the topic because he knows you're avoiding to talk about what you did last night. You still went to the beach, but together with your boyfriend. All of them got shocked when you arrived with Jungkook while holding hands. Lindon? Sir? Look! Carefully! Babe? Uh-huh? 
He brought his face closer to you. You did the same, because you thought he was going to whisper something. That's why you were very shocked when Jungkook held your waist as he sealed your lips with his. He kissed you in front of the guy who likes you. The end. Thank you for watching Kubis. Good night. Poor Lyndon. His untold love. If there is a part 2 of this FF, the title should be When Your Childish Boss Fighting All the Boys Who Liked You. <laughs>